I'm Mike Kinetich. I'm a 15-year trader at the Chicago Board of Trade, Chicago Mercantile Exchange, Chicago Board of Options Exchange, uh, trading futures and options. Uh, and uh, we founded, we first started going the route of thinking about doing Ticket in the spring of 2009 and launched the company in October of 2009. Uh, and it was a nine-month lifespan for us. We were acquired by Trading Technologies in June of 2010. Uh, Rick Lang, uh, computer programmer, co-founder of Ticket. Uh, been uh, professionally developing software for about eight years now. Uh, started in the um, uh, electronic wargaming uh, field. Um, did that for about three years. Moved to Chicago. Did the uh, algorithmic trading uh, field and uh, started working for Mike out here in Chicago. And uh, you know, end up taking our parts of our in-house platform uh, and and turn that into what is now uh, Ticket and the Algo Design Lab. I think we offered an angle in the automated trading space that trading technologies maybe saw uh, as a way to fill a gap in, uh, with an interesting approach, something that they weren't doing. Uh, so we started talking to them uh, early this year and uh, the talks progressed and uh, next thing you know, here we are. The acquisition by trading technologies is, makes us infinitely better because I think in some ways people think you lack a little bit of credibility when you're a startup. You need to worry that you're not, you may not be around in 12 months. Uh, so without that worry there, uh, we've seen just about all of our customers pretty excited about the prospects of this. We're coming from a world of one exchange. We, you know, we started with the CME family of exchanges um, and, and TT instantly gives us you know, more than two dozen exchanges that, that people will be able to explore and, and take advantage of with, with our platform. So you know, right off the bat, it's going to be a, you know, a big win. Other you know, big areas where we're going to see um, a lot of impact is obviously in, in the customer base. We're going from, from 50 or so customers to more than 10,000 and you know, not only is that going to be a, you know, a big win for, for the industry, but also I, I really think could be a game changer, could really uh, you know, change the, the, the face of algorithmic trading. It really could turn uh, electronic trading, automated trading upside down. So The Algo Design Lab is basically a do-it-yourself programming platform. So uh, traditionally, traders would need to go out and hire the services of a programmer and spend who knows how much time and money uh, creating ideas that they're not sure they're ever even going to bring to market. And what the Algo Design Lab does is it cuts down the time required on uh, the lead time required on developing a program, testing that program, and bringing it to market. Uh, maybe anywhere from uh, four weeks worth of work, you could maybe bring that down to two hours. And we also like to say that it makes the whole process safer because you're using, uh, you're, you're using drag and drop building blocks that convert into set uh, blocks of, of programming code. Uh, certainly not at our product price point. Uh, there are a few systems out there that are, that are going to cost you multiples uh, more money to get started. And even then, as far as we know, we're the only one where you don't actually have to enter any programming text or any, even in their own language, uh, most systems require that you enter some text. Uh, ours is all drag and drop and connecting together the logic, uh, so uh, entering text is not required. So as far as we know, we're the only ones there, and um, there's probably other competitors working on systems, but as far as we know, uh, that's the situation. Well, I mean, obviously the, the, the first major requirement if you're going to get into the space the old-fashioned way is you have to either be a programmer or hire a programmer. Um, and then, you know, beyond that, it's, it's a fairly substantial time and money investment just in getting algorithms out the door. I mean, you know, Mike and I, back, back when we were, uh, you know, the old-fashioned method, you know, we, we'd spend six to eight weeks just getting a, a program safe enough and, and sound enough where we were ready to go out the door and actually run this thing live. Um, that same program now, I can do it in a matter of hours um, and, and really feel comfortable that, that it's going to do what I expect to do. So it, it, it really does um, uh, eliminate that need not only to have a programmer on staff, but also that need to really spend the, the time investment in getting these things out the door. Right. And ultimately that program probably is a better program as well because with our platform we get, we're able to soft code different variables that you can modify on the fly. Uh, so it's just infinitely more user-friendly than uh, programming as well. Well, uh, 
we're trading technologies now because obviously they liked it and, and uh, I think they're the futures market leader. Uh, as far as our customers go, we've gotten many emails from customers thanking us for what we're doing uh, because they appreciate the fact that this can sort of revolutionize their business. The first biggest impact that we're going to, that our customers are going to see is, is availability to all of these exchanges. You know, more than two dozen exchanges, um, 19 of the 20 biggest brokers uh, uh, TT has um, coverage with. Um, and that, that's really going to be the, the, the first real benefit. The, the stability, as Mike mentioned too, you know, TT's 16 year old software that's really been uh, tried and true, uh, really been tested soundly, and, and is really sort of the in industry standard in stability. And, and, you know, frankly, that's what people want in this industry. They don't want to be putting their nest egg in the line with, with risky and buggy software. So um, I, I think we're going to benefit greatly right off the bat from that. Um, I don't think you covered it all. So we're, we're basically starting with a blank canvas. Now this is, this is the screen onto which you'll do all of your algorithmic construction, all of your building. Uh, you'll never have to leave this screen. So really just a drag and drop interface where you drag and connect different blocks. So the only block that's on here right now is, is an instrument block. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna construct a very simple algorithm around this instrument, which is going to uh, make a market. It's going to quote a bid in this market. So I'm going to uh, drag a market maker block uh, which is just one of uh, a library of blocks that you can see here on the left. Each block has its own special purpose. Um, this market maker block, uh, I'm going to connect this instrument up to the uh, according uh, appropriate instrument input, which are all color coded. Uh, so now I've got, I need to specify what my price and what my quantity are. So I'm going to extract a value from the instrument, which is the bid price of this particular product. And you'll see as I'm dragging these and connecting them, uh, this information is updating in real time. So we can see now what, our, what the bid price is for this particular product. I'm now going to use the bid price as my instrument, uh, as my price input for my market maker blocks. What this means now is we're going to be actively quoting on the bid at the bid price uh, as we, when, whenever we run this. <clears throat> the only last step here is the quantity. So how large do we want our order to be? So I'm going to drag a number block down, let's say 25. So we want to place a 25 lot order in this market. Final step, I'm going to connect that to the quantity input. And you'll see the exclamation point disappears, which tells us that now we have a valid sound algorithm uh, that, will, that will run on its own. And, and you know, that took anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds to construct. Uh, but something that you know, may have taken an hour or two to, to do the old fashioned way and make sure that it was completely bug free. So some of the other elements to, to illustrate here are uh, the safety checks. So certain things that, that would lead to um, either invalid connections or circ circular dependencies are, are prohibited in ADL. So little things like that that make it an, an, that make it an inherently safer platform into which uh, to construct your algorithms. Um, things like that that are really what make ADL stand apart.